Imani in the building. All right, my G. So what's going on, man? How you feel? Uh, all is well, man. All is well. Just getting off work. You know, another day on the nine to five. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's yes, up. Sir. Why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself? Uh, let everybody know who you are and uh, where, where you hail from. All right, so uh, <clears throat> my name is Imani. I'm originally from Jersey, uh, by way of Florida. Uh, I'm currently in the Tampa Bay area, uh, so I've been kind of residing here for the last ten, ten or so years. All right, hold up, um, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you, you came from one fucked up city or state, <laughs> all the way down to another fucked up state, bro. <laughs> I mean, Florida's, yeah, well, not, you know, Florida's not bad. I mean, considering considering the fact that up in the Northeast, you know, you got all that cold, you got all that winter, you got all that snow, and then you was yeah. like, you said, "Fuck all that shit. I want to go down to the Sunshine State." What what brought you? What you? What brought you down here to Florida? Well, my family, man. My mom was down here, so you know, I kind of follow suit. Mm -hmm. Um. But that was in high school, man. I graduated high school in Tallahassee, you know, well, 05. Mm -hmm. So um, i just been kind of in Florida ever since, man. I kind of migrated down to Tampa probably like t 12 years ago. Okay. That's uh, just for, you know, job opportunities, you know, just trying to follow the money, man. All right. So what you uh, so what you been doing <clears throat> down here, though? I mean, you know, what, what, what Florida, you know, what's, 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 what's the job? What's the job situation down here? So I'm I'm in retail now, man. I uh, I'm a general manager at a retail spot out here in Central Florida. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a general manager at one of the racetracks down here, man. Um, you know, not one of the best jobs per se, but money wise, it's pretty good, man. I pull like I do like eighty to ninety a year. Um, okay. I cleared ninety last year. Okay. Yeah, so it's been pretty decent, man. It's been paying the bills. You know, I kind of stuck with it. You know, what I'm saying it's been. It's a Monday through Friday gig, man. You know, it's just salary. So, you know, for right. me, it's easy, easy money. Yeah, you know. Okay, okay. Kind of got, kind of slid in, you know, good opportunity. Um, but okay. what I'm trying to do now, man, I'm actually trying uh, to get in the uh, trucking uh, industry. Uh-uh, uh, 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 bro. Uh-uh, 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 uh, 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 bro. Hold up, man. Hold up, hold up. Amani, hold up. Let, let, yeah. let, let, let's wrap for a minute, bro. You, you've been down here in Florida 10 years, knocking it out. 90 G's a year, uh, salary, so what? You get paid every week, every two weeks? Uh, I get paid every week. Every week. So we looking like you know, 90, so it's about, what, about, at least take home, at least about 15, 16 every week. Take home. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, my G, you good. You're not, you you not struggling. You not struggling. You 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 yeah. you you um you doing the damn thing. You nine to five, my G. You don't have to worry about yeah. you you don't have to worry about <laughs> using the damn bathroom in different states and different in different yeah, truck right. stops and all like that. You go home every day. What what you driving, my G? What <laughs> what you driving? I drive an Nissan Maxima, man. Fourteen, you know, okay. nothing, nothing classy. I mean, nothing, nothing flashy. You know, just okay. You know, everyday sedan, dude. Okay, so we driving a Nissan Maxima. You know what I'm saying? Plus, you get to go. You know, you you in Florida, so you know the night. Well, the pandemic, you know, last year kind of <laughs> shut all that shit down. But since yeah. it's picking, since it's picking back up, the the nightlife is is picking back up a little bit for. Or or are you? Are you are you with family? Are you married? What's your what's what's your uh, marital yeah. state status? Yeah, so I'm I'm married. Uh, been married since 2019. Mm -hmm. um, my wife and I. My wife is a nurse. Mm -hmm. um, she's pregnant right now. We do okay. have a child. It's like 15 months. Okay. Um, and then we yeah, then we have a little baby due in March. Oh, okay. So, bro, <clears throat> everything is going good for you. What's why? Why? Yeah, why, for sure, for sure. Why? Why are you interested in coming? Uh, coming into trucking, bro. So for me, man, it's more about um, <clears throat> entrepreneurship. You know what I mean? Um, I have an uncle that drives up north uh, for Domino's. You know what I mean? Um, he's been trying to get me in the industry for years now, man. Even when I originally first started doing the retail, mm -hmm. um, cause he's actually, you know, he has a truck or whatever. He's been very successful. Him and my cousin up in Connecticut. 
um, just hearing their stories, man, and just hearing, you know, the type of lifestyles they live and, you know, the type of business moves they've made. Um, for me, see, I'm salary, man. So at the end of the day, you know, my phone is always on, you know. Okay. For me, it's more about ownership. And um, I'm willing to take a step back now so that way I could take two steps forward in the future, in the near future. Um, but for me, man, you know, I'm working for, I'm still working for somebody, you know, so at the end of the day, I'm home by 4 PM. However, you know, it's, it's still a headache 365. You know what I mean? Um, it's not so much the headache. It's just, I'm not in control of my destiny at the end of the day, working for somebody else. Um, as far as my outlook, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I you know, I know the horror stories. I've heard them mm-hmm. at the end of the day, you know, everybody has their own perspective and, 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 you know, um, everything they deal with, which I'm willing to take on. Cause you know, in this industry, we also have our headaches, you know, we, mm-hmm. it's, it's BS that comes with it. You know what I mean? But for me, I'm looking at the long term goal. You know, one of the things that I look at, man, you know, when it's take your son and daughter to work day, you know, I don't want them to have to come to somebody else's establishment. You know what I'm saying? I want them to be able to see daddy in a, in an ownership position at the end of the day, you know? So that's my goal, man. That's where I come from. You know, my parents has always been entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, uh, the, it's good, man, that, you know, I have a work life balance. Um, however, at the end of the day, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, I'm still capped at what I can make. You know what I'm saying? 90 grand is great before taxes. However, I don't, I don't take 90 grand home. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, well, look, I, I work hard for that 90. Look, yes, sir. Look, 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 let me, let me tell you something. I'm look, bro. I mean, I, I, I see where you are coming from. Don't, and I'm not going to discourage you. I'm, I'm definitely not, yeah. but I'm just, I'm not going to discourage you. I'm just, I'm, I'm just rapping with you so I can get a, I yeah. get, so I can get a better understanding on, on, on what, what, what's up with you. But here's the, yes, sir. here's the thing, bro. I mean, you, 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 listen here, you, you, you got a wife of, of two years. You have yeah. a kid already. You have a kid on the way and your, your wife is, uh, you know, is a nurse down here. So her money along with your money, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all doing pretty, pretty good without you jumping into into the industry now there's ways to there's ways to you know there's ways to save you know to save up your money for the future so that you can become an entrepreneur of 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 sorts you know what i'm saying but i i i mean again and this is not to discourage you or not like that but yeah yeah i'm all ears man in in your situation I, I wouldn't make that move to trucking. I, I, I really wouldn't because Okay. Um your everything looks good on the and I'm I'm telling you, you know, everything looks good on the outside. All right. For real, for real. Everything always yeah. look gravy, sunshine, roses on the outside. But on the inside, bro, this this field right here, this industry right here is cutthroat, bro. Not not everybody not everybody is making ninety G's. You got a lot of people. You got a lot of you got a lot of so called gurus out there that saying, "Oh yeah, this the this one hundred thousand dollar industry. You can do this. You can do that." But, bro, you got you you first thing first. You got to get your license. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that's first thing first. So, once you get your license, I mean, once you Get figure out which route you're gonna take your uh, get your license. Is you gonna go through a school route? Is you gonna go through a uh, is you gonna go through a uh, company route? You got to figure out which way you're gonna get your license. Now I'm I'm figuring since you already good on the money front, you should go the school route. All right, you could you could probably find a good school down here in Florida. I know a few of them. I think uh I think ain't one sixty trucking academy down here. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. They're, they're uh, by me, I was I was looking into Rollmasters. By me, I know a couple people that went through them. All right, um, yeah, I know Rollmasters down there too. A lot of people want me to give them a call to 
to, to do a call uh to do a call to them because you know like yeah. you said a lot of people says it's good a lot of people says it's bad um yeah. but once you you know once you get your once you get your license then you gotta go figure out what trucking company is going to be the best for you now in the beginning it's not going to be that much of choices because you don't have no experience so you're going to have to go with companies like warner us express snyder you know those those companies right there and you're not going to get that 90 g's in the first year first year you're going to look yeah. at about first year you're going to look at about 50 maybe 40 or 50 you know what i'm saying because you you got to get your you know you got to get your experience in but that's not even to say that you might not even get that within the second year so the first mm. the first year and maybe a little bit of the second year you got to concentrate on getting your experience getting your you know yes, getting, sir. getting your value up and all like that and that's going to take time bro that's going to take a lot of time so you got to get your value up and all like that and then from there you got to <laughs> find you know, a company, a decent company that's going to that's going to give you the miles, give you the home time, give you the money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And across the spectrum, across the spectrum, a lot of companies, especially companies, they <laughs> are starting anywhere between 50 to 60 cent. And that's on the W2 side. Right. Mm. Anything, okay. anything, anything above uh anything above 60 60 going into 70 70 going into 80 now in order to in order to touch your your 90k that you you know that you're so comfortable with you got to be at least in the 70s or 80s and in order to touch okay. that you got to be in companies you know if you want to go company driver you got to be in companies like Walmart uh FedEx uh Old Dominion um um uh, and there's a there's a couple of there's a couple of others but uh but on a that that's on the company side everything okay. everything else you you want to see everything else is going to be on the lease side uh it's going to be either leasing or getting with a company um getting with a company that does leasing you 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 feel what I'm yes, saying? Sir. So yes, sir. So with that said, with, with that said, you know that's that's what you're gonna have to look for in a nutshell. Coming, you know, coming in now. Once you're in, once you're in, now you got, like I said before, you got your kids. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna yes. you're gonna have to sacrifice your kids. You know, you're not going to be there for every birthday. You're not going to be there for yeah. when they hit their first baseball. You you right. may you you may or may not be there for your for your newborn's first walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so and, and and not to cut you off, Mark, I'm sorry. Oh, um, go ahead, go ahead. And so, but those but those are the things that you know I'm actually putting into the equation. Mm -hmm. I understand that, you know, so. Personally, you know, and those are the those are the crucial conversations that me and my wife have had. You know, we exactly. we made the we, you, we you plan. Definitely better yes, have you better have those conversations with your wife because that's that's yes, something sir. else I was about to mention too is is the wife element. You know what I'm saying? You you yeah. sacrifice not being there with your wife. She's gonna have to get used to you not being there and all like that. Yeah. You're gonna be gone for maybe about a week or two weeks or. You know, in the beginning, you're going to be gone for like maybe like a month, you know, a month, month and a half because you're going to be out training. That's that's for starters right there. But, yes, yeah, the wife element is is also important because, like I said, man, motherfuckers, motherfuckers lose their families in this in, in, in this job. Yeah. They lose their families. Yes, they lose their families. They lose they they lose their families. They lose their kids. Well, you know, well, <laughs> except for the kid part. The kid part. Yeah. I, I'm going to turn around <laughs> on the kid part. The kid part will probably be more of, you know, daddy's a truck driver and shit like that. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? But as far as uh, as far as uh, as far as uh, everything else, like. 
uh, you know, your wife. It's like I said, your wife is gonna is gonna need to get used to you not being there, bro. <laughs> And all like yeah. that. So and I and I, I I anticipate that to be pretty tough, you know, at least in, initially. Um but you know, it's one of the things, man, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we have a five year plan and um in order for me to get to where I need to be within those five years, unfortunately, it may be a year, possibly two, of that type of regimen, you know what I mean, where you know, it, it's similar to somebody being in the being at the war, man, or being overseas, you know. Right. Some some women, man, they just gotta understand that you know, it's, if it's for the ultimate goal, you know, it's about the oh. macro scale. Oh. There's another thing you're gonna have to worry about too, bro. We get out here, man. You're gonna have to worry about trying to find these motherfucking parking spots at the last fucking minute. You're gonna have to, <laughs> you're gonna have to worry about that shit. So yeah, I'm I'm down here. I'm I'm down here in Florida as we speak, man. So hold on. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, truck, 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 truck parking becomes fucking scarce down here real quick. <laughs> yeah, because nor- normally you have to you have to pay for somebody's lot, right? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I got lucky and <sighs> this motherfucking loves right off of ninety five. Mm. Right off of ninety five, <laughs> I'm right in between two motherfuckers that's nosed in, but that's kind of cool because. I got a fucking reefer. Oh, okay, so you're in the reefer industry. No, 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 no. I, I, a, I No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I have no. My company have uh have a reefer trailer, and we uh, you know, we either pull we either pull reefer uh you know reefer load or uh or uh, oh, okay. drive in. So, nah, I I did that. Been there. Been there, done that, bro. <laughs> Been there, done that with the with the reefer, man. But yeah, yeah. But that's another that's another thing too that you're gonna have to you know factor in. Also, you know, you you do you want to get all your endorsements? Do you want to get uh, do you want to get all your endorsements? You know, do you want to drive a comp drive for a company that just do reefer drive in? You want to do flatbed? You want to do uh? You want to do um, what do you call it? Um, car hauling, you know that that's a lot of stuff that you're gonna have to that you're gonna have to factor in. Another thing you're gonna have to factor in too is that you in Florida, uh, a lot of loads, <laughs> a lot of loads that you could, that could get you into Florida. So that's another. Well, let me let me rewind that. Let me rewind that. Uh-huh. You you're in Florida, so you're gonna have to factor in the company that you're gonna that you're going to rock out with because a lot of companies don't hire out of Florida because of the fact mm-hmm. that they can't get you here. I mean, they can't get you home. Now, if gotcha. you, if you would, if you do would to get with a company that can get you home, then what you have to worry about now is getting a load out. Sometimes you might not have mm. that. You might not have that load that, 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 that goes out of Florida, you might have to go up to Georgia. You might have to dead head to, you know, maybe about three, four hundred miles to to yeah. um, you know, to uh you know, to leave out of Florida. So that's another thing you're gonna have to you're gonna have to put in consideration, man. I mean it's a Yeah. I mean it's a it's a it's big a, thing. That, See it, it would be easy for me to tell you, yeah, to jump into it if you wasn't in a position that you was in like if you if yeah. you wasn't in a position of doing 90k having a family got one on the way i would be like yeah come on jump right into it but i'm yeah. i'm i'm hesitant to say yeah bro come on it's the best thing i i can't do that considering the situation that you're in yeah so the, so the one thing that makes me feel comfortable though i mean my goal is, you know, to be an operator owner. Um, owner I operator. definitely don't want to jump. Yes, sir. I definitely don't want to jump out that window, and that's what I do initially, mm-hmm. um, which is why I'm willing to sacrifice for a um, certain amount of time with a company, even if it means I'm not able to make the type of ducats that I've, you know, I'm used to making. Um, as long as my wife can, you know, provide the way that we anticipate she can as a nurse. Right. Um, I will have like you know once I leave this company I have at least thirty grand set to the side specifically just for trucking. 
uh, my trucking business. Okay. Yes, sir. So it makes me well, feel you, you, a little you, bit more comfortable and willing you, to bite the. You're going to need a little bit more than that, bro. But yeah, because you know, if you want to get. Okay. Uh, look, I'm I'm not an owner operator, and I never would proceed to say, hey, you know, what truck to get or anything like that. But f just from the people that I have talked to and and conversated with, you're gonna need a little bit more than 30 G's for uh for that for that truck, bro. I think 30. Okay. If if you want a decent if you want a decent truck, yeah, it's gonna be a little bit more than uh. 30 G's, but then you got some, again, you got some quote unquote gurus that would be like, oh, well, 30 G's is all right. You can get you a, you can get you a bunk, you can get you a bullshit truck, but you also got to realize that what happened when that bullshit truck breaks down and that bullshit yeah. truck is in the, is in the shop for at some amount of time, then you're going to have to be stuck because you're not making no money. You're not bringing nothing in. Then you got to worry about, well, maybe I can rent a truck until mine come out. So if you if you put that 30 G's aside and still bank on it, like why you said that you that you still working for a company uh, for mm -hmm. a company and everything, then I, I would say keep keep doing that to build the, the build that nest egg. But here's here's the other problem that I'm I'm foreseeing is that within the first couple of years, you know, being that you got a family and all, you know what I'm saying? You still got to you still got to, you know, even though your wife, you know, she good and all like that, but you still got to send some money home. You know what I'm saying? To take care, yeah, yeah, you right. know, to, to take care of, you know, what she can't take care of. I mean, she, she can't. Yeah. I'm I'm sure you're not gonna let her do it all by her, you know all by herself. No, nah, not be, at all. That's gonna be that conversation that you definitely gonna need to talk to her about. <laughs> that's gonna be one of them. Yeah. But um, but yeah, man. I mean, it's like I said before, man. It's 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 a lot to it's it's a lot to it's a lot to put in. And again, considering your situation, I I I honestly myself. I honestly can't say, yeah, dog, come on in, dog. Do the damn thing, dog. Go ahead and blow. Go ahead and take that 30 G's, dog, and, and all like that. And I, 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 I just can't do that because you're already yeah. in a good position. You, you already get in a good position of, of, of getting 90 G's a year, 15, 1500 after take home pay. Your wife is a nurse, so she's bringing home good money. You seeing your kids? You growing up with your kids every day. And I, I, geez, I, if you wasn't, if you wasn't in all of that, say like, you know, you just had a girlfriend and maybe one kid and you were struggling, yeah, you know, then I would be like, yeah, dog, come on in do the damn thing. Tr trucking is it. Trucking is all that. But for what you already in right now, it's kind of hard. But like I said before, don't let me discourage you because, you know, you got to. You got a broad plan, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate the advice. So let me ask you, man, uh, when you were talking about the Florida market, um, when that is something that I decide to uh, out of school, mm -hmm. um, is that a, what I hear typically, and then also the research I've done, the car hauling out of Florida seems like it's the most Look, popular. Yeah, um, it is. It is. Is that a specific niche, though? As far as like having to get spe like special training for that, besides the typical. Uh, well, for starters, you're gonna need. Uh, for starters, uh, I really don't think you're gonna need any uh, any endorsements. I mean, you know, your CDLA, but you're gonna you're gonna need training to secure the you know to secure the cars. And yeah. you know, and 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 driving the car. I mean, and driving the car, uh, the car trailer, is real low to the ground. So that's that's gonna you know that's gonna be a little bit more uh, tight training on that because you're gonna need the you know the tan the turning radius on a on a on a car right. hauling trailer and truck is gonna be way different than a regular tractor trailer and a I mean tractor and a trailer. So, you know, you're going to need a, 
you're going to need a little bit, you know, a little bit of training on that. As far as the as far as the niche, I I do hear that, you know, the car hauling down here is 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 booming. I I got finished talking to a young lady. Uh, I got finished talking to a young lady and she just started uh car hauling from down here and she likes it. She does the mm. she does the enclosed uh the enclosed oh, car okay. hauling. So that's a little bit better. You know, that's a little bit better. That's something to look, you know, look into too. So but um Okay. But yeah, I mean, you know, like I said, when you when you sit down and start putting, you know, start putting pen to paper on what you, you know, on what you're looking for and all like that, you know, especially like you said with car hauling, at least, you know, coming into Florida and coming out of Florida, you you would probably get back home on a, you know, on a consistent basis. You know, if you go out for like a, you know, go out for a couple of weeks, you know you, you know you'll get a load or something that'll come back home or something like that. So, but yeah. as far as far as me knowing about car hauling itself, I'm I'm still talking to people and learning a little bit more about it because I'm not sure how I'm not sure how that works. Say like you you get a load that's going out. Let's say you you go out to Ohio. Do you get a mm -hmm. do Do you just deadhead all the way back to to Florida? Yeah, that's and, yeah, that and, would be crazy. And yeah. reload, or do you get or do you go somewhere and and pick up a load and and bring it back? Uh, how you know that's that's you know those are questions that need to be asked when you know you do your research when going with a trucking company. Yes, sir. So, but yeah, man, uh, money man, I'm I'm just I'm I'm just sitting here like like flabbergasted as the fact that you know considering where you at right now and you want to come into you want to come into the trucking industry <laughs> man <laughs> yeah. but uh well, go ahead the ultimate goal was to you know is to be an entrepreneur and um i think that's that's pretty much what's fueling it you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's just you know it, it's it's definitely a good great job you know what i mean if you want to be content and just you know it's the same thing every day not mm -hmm. that i'm not okay with that but you know ultimately you know i can move up you know i could be a district manager which i've had the opportunity sometimes sometimes it's actually a pay decrease you know because mm -hmm. it's a less less of a workload mm -hmm. um but ultimately you know do i want to continue to make somebody else wealthy you know what i mean the goal is not necessarily you know it's easier said than done but um, I mean, just, let me you know, let me let me stop honest. you right there. Considering the fact that you know, like you just mentioned, that you you making somebody else wealthy come into the industry, you still yeah. making somebody rich until Correct. Correct. until you get up on your feet. You 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 see where I'm going with that? You know, yeah. So for that's sure. that's why I was saying, like, oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, then why don't you just go ahead? Save up your cheese where you at right now. Save up your cheese, and you can still accomplish your goal that way without even without even coming into the into the industry. Or 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 or. or. All right. Again, like I said, don't let me discourage you. You can't you 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 can get a truck without getting your CDLs. But see, here's the problem that you're going to come into. So you mm -hmm. go buy a truck. You, now you got a truck. You get you you get the tags. You get the if the tags. You get you get everything you need for the you know to move the truck. Now you got to lease on to a company. That's going to be a whole number of research right there. <laughs> Is is Landstar going to be it? Is Mercer going to be it? Is leasing on with U.S. Express going to be it? Is leasing on with USA Truck? Is they going to give you cent per mile? Is they going to give you percentage? Because once you got that's a whole nother thing that you got to figure out right there. All right. Now, after you figure all that out, you got to get somebody to drive the truck. That's a whole, yeah, see that's, that's, that's a part whole, I feel like I can't trust nobody. Exactly. See, that's a whole nother thing right there. You gotta you 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 gotta uh 
you got to vet the driver. You got to pay for the, you know, you got to pay for the MVR and all that background shit. Mm-hmm. And you got to pay for the, uh, and you got to pay for the uh, clearing house. Plus, you got to make sure that they get, uh, that they get drug tested every year or, if, you know, however long they, the, you know, however long that, that you do that. So, yeah, you can get a truck that you don't, you know, that you don't have your CDLs for. And you could still be an entrepreneur that way. You could still work your you can still work your nine to five. You can still get your ninety K a year, but then you got yeah. you know, you, you, you can start your you can start your trucking business without even technically getting it.